What's up everyone, it's the quintessential home barista aka Spromethius, coming at you with a quick unboxing and review of the Prismo filter from Fellow. I saw this on their Instagram, I was pretty intrigued by the idea of getting something that's espresso-like out of my AeroPress. I've tried a few different ways to try and make that happen, uh, and I have not. So the one thing I've always been trying to get on my AeroPress is crema. Uh, so when I saw the picture on the box and thought, oh wow, like you can get crema from this, I gotta check it out. Uh, I mentioned that I was interested in this thing to my boss. Uh, shout out to PJ for picking this up for me uh, on our last order from Fellow and uh, letting me take it home and, and play with it. So in the box you've got the directions on how to brew the espresso-like beverage. Basically it's a 20 gram dose of very finely ground coffee and 50 milliliters of water. It looks like you can also do tea and other things in this contraption, but it's not really something that uh, I would probably do. The piece itself is very nice. It's a very uh, solid, durable little piece. It looks like a very simple pressure actuated valve. Basically looks like something that you can take traveling, which is what I do with my AeroPress. I don't often make them at home. It also comes with a nice mesh filter that is advertised to take out some of the gritty nature of the coffee. Uh, get rid of that sludgy kind of feel when it comes to making really fine grind arrow presses, you do get that. So without further ado, let's bust out my scale and uh, make a cup of coffee. Just like everything else, you want to weigh out all your grounds, all your water, just to get that right ratio. Uh, and this first couple times I did this extraction, I followed the directions on the box. I did try a few other ways just to kind of see what the results would be. They all ended up pretty similar uh, in flavor and just development of the coffee itself. Again, adding 50 grams of water, 50 grams is equal to 50 milliliters uh, when you're speaking about fluids. So handled that give it a nice 20 second agitation or a stir uh, using this the standard AeroPress stir. From there, after about a minute, time to press and brew this coffee. You'll notice it's pretty hard to push down when you're using fine grinds in an AeroPress, that's not unusual. Generally, the finer the grind, the harder you're going to need to press to push that water through the grounds. It's just kind of a par for the course in terms of physics. So as you watch it extract, you'll notice that it doesn't really look like traditional espresso. Uh, it still has kind of a, a very fluid sort of look to it. It doesn't quite have that texture of honey uh, or syrupy sort of look to it. Uh, it does for a second look like it starts to develop a little bit of crema, uh, but after you continue to push and it pushes out the rest of the water, a little bit of air comes with it and knocks any sort of crema that's on there out with it. Uh, here I'm checking to look at the crema, there wasn't any, so I continued my press to just finish the push all the way through. In the end, the beverage that comes out is nothing really similar to espresso. I mean, it does taste like a concentrated coffee. If you've ever had uh, maybe coffee from a mocha pot, it's a very similar sort of consistency and flavor. It is surprisingly a bit grittier than I expected with that really fine mesh filter, uh, but I guess uh, potentially maybe I went a little too fine. I'm not really sure uh, what caused that mouthfeel of, of grittiness there. But overall, the things I like, I like the no drip seal. It allows for no inverted brewing. I think it's an elegant, durable design, yeah, easy to travel with and easy to clean and use. What I don't like, you know, is no crema. Uh, and like I said, there's a bit of grittiness. The body of the coffee is more like a mocha pot, like I had mentioned, which isn't really my jam. Uh, I used uh, multiple recipes to try to achieve crema, um, but did not get there as well. If you're expecting an espresso substitute, this isn't for you. Uh, but if you love concentrated coffee and little gadgets, it's worth the price of admission, which is, uh, I'd say, roughly in the $25 range. So I'd check it out if you're interested. Otherwise, maybe skip this one until uh, maybe the version 2.0 comes along or another product that can really help develop your AeroPress into something that's a little bit more substantially similar to espresso.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to my blog Sprometheus.com, and follow me on Instagram at Sprometheus. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.